I've been covering true crime for a long time, and I've seen some really crazy things, like people creating social media accounts, pretending to be someone accused of a crime, or fan accounts for killers who are in prison. It really gets crazy out here, and it's important to take some information with a grain of salt, at the time not turning a blind eye to certain things. For some reason, I can't seem to decide whether this is some crazy person looking for attention, or if there is more to this. However, I will share it because I feel like it needs to be looked in more. No stone should be left unturned when it comes to a missing child. A man, named Marcus Salazar, is claiming to have Sebastian Rogers with him. He messaged someone on Facebook, and here are the messages. The first one says, who are you to Sebastian Roger? The person replies, saying I don't know him, just a kid I see is missing. He then says okay, and the person asks why did you message me? This is where the conversation takes a worrying turn. Marcus says that there is someone with him with that name. He is trying to know, and he is there with him now, since some weeks ago. The person then replies and says who are you to him? Marcus replies, found him on the roadside, if you got his family, let me know. I don't want to free him. Then Marcus says that Sebastian says he was kidnapped and escaped and doesn't want to go home. I have more texts where someone else messaged Marcus, asking if he had seen Sebastian, to which he replies yes. He said he met Sebastian in the roadside and took him to family in Ardmore. The person then asked if Marcus called 911, to which he says no, he didn't want to come home, and is saying that home is hurt right now. So, I don't know what to think of these texts, but they need to be looked into. They have already been sent to police, and if this man, whoever he is, is wasting law enforcement's time, then he needs to be charged accordingly.